Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis. Bobby fucking Portis. I'm going to send this guy a little thank you card. He's the man. And he basically, if you watched my video for my preview of my uh, daily fantasy sports video of how I've been making money, I was telling you about this little piece to the puzzle today to today's contest. Um, Bobby Portis. And you know what? I was right. It paid off. I'm $3,000 up. Oh yeah. Booyah. Bobby Portis. And he got the minutes. He got the time. He put up the numbers. Um, what was the... Uh, one second. What did he put up? He basic. This guy has not played a single minute in the last like 10 games or so for the... Or ten, or almost like nine of nine of the last ten games, but Bobby Portis. I could have won a lot more money too. So I I put I invested too much in Serge Ibaka, and he did not pay off at all. But he didn't pay off for the other people who had him either. But anyways, let's see. Bobby Portis, thirty five point seven fantasy points for a guy the cheapest for a the cheapest guy you could get, who. Nobody else decided to use for um, forty three thousand one hundred and three entries of this multi entry two dollar contest. Zero point three percent of those entries have him in their roster, and I had most of those. I had about almost eighty Bobby Portis entries. You have to put the rest of the pieces together and. I put it together to manage to get $3,000. I could have, if I would have put it together just a tiny bit differently, it's just that every, not everything falls into the right places. But hey, I still won $3,000, but all I'm saying is I could have won even more. But $3,000, thank you, Bobby Portis, and thank you, Daily Fantasy Sports, for giving the opportunity for... Uh, people like me who are not into working, who hated school, but who are smart and have high IQs and who really like particular sports enough to where they could put their knowledge of that into making a living. Um, it's tough. I live in Santa Cruz. Rent is really high here. And I really have given up on a lot of bills I've had just because it's it's just bullshit some of the times and uh, this has helped a lot but oh one thing though that's the last I'm gonna do for this this uh, thing it I put a lot of time into making these entries and making and doing these contests I've slept two and a half hours in the last about uh, over two days so you put you have to watch a lot of film. You got to look up a lot of stats. You got to put the the teams together just right. You got to make it work. Um, you got to piece the puzzle together. You got to have the information. You got to know who's the matchups. You got to know who's playing who. You got to know if someone's injured, who's going to step in and, repl and replace and get all those minutes. How do the players match up against them? How do they do on back to backs? Are they playing the next night? All these things come into factor. The main thing you gotta know is the talent, though. You gotta know basketball. You gotta know, yeah. What I and that's basically what's helped me tonight. Bobby Portis is legit. Bobby Portis, if he had, if he was on another team, could be in the running for Rookie of the Year. But he's on the Bulls, and they already have like three or four other power forwards. So he's been sitting on the bench. He got the playing time tonight. He put up. Let's see. He had 20 points. 11 rebounds, 2 steals, and 1 assist. That is a very, very good game for a guy who hasn't played much at all this year. For a rookie, too. So, anyways, enough talk about fantasy sports. I'm just pretty stoked. Anyways, I decided I'm done for the year. I'm going to focus on the things that other things that I've been talking about. The year and fast is coming up. I have now a little extra money to work with. And... Yeah, let's go from there. Let's do the things that we really need to do. I won't have to spend 
eight to ten hours a day making these fantasy sports lineups and and hoping that I hit again. It might not be for another week or a whole, even a whole another month or so before I hit again, and I'd have to put in all that time. Might and we got some stuff to do in this life right now, so might as well focus on those things. Let's get that urine fast. I'm gonna get that urine fast started pretty soon and start doing the things I need to do and run that 800 half meters half mile in under two minutes. I'm gonna get that training started full time now. Peace out. If you like basketball, try some daily fantasy sports, but be prepared to lose some money while you learn. You're not going to be as good as me right away. But you could make some money. I've basically made uh, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 in the last month or so. That's pretty darn okay, I think. I've never made that kind of money because I've never wanted to work or put in the effort to be a slave. I did my own thing. It worked out. I'm going to quit for a while and do the right thing. And we're going to figure out how to make a difference in this world. And... Let's get everybody well. No more sickness. Let's end that shit. Let's spread the word that urine is not gross. Urine is what we need to sustain ideal, ideally optimal, healthy lifestyles. It's the main cog. It's the main key to the formula. You can't have the equation of being healthy without urine. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.